help me. I've been looking for the idea of mixed drink, but I just can't seem to find it. Well, you've come to the right place. We can use chemistry here to solve your chem mystery. So, one of our specials today is the salad shooter. It's not a very ideal mixed drink, but it might be what you're looking for, so let me get that right for you. This is just oil and water. Thanks, but no thanks. This drink is not ideal for me. It's not even a mixed drink. Well, you're definitely right. It's definitely not ideal, but um, let me show you why. As you can see here, liquid A representing the oil and liquid B representing the water. They clearly make two different layers. This is because of polarity and the oil being nonpolar and water being polar. If these two liquids were miscible, however, you can see in the example to the right that there would just be one homogeneous phase. You can say that again. Can you give me a better drink? Like something a little more ideal? Come on, Raul, you're my last hope. Sure, this is one a lot of the regulars really like. It's an IPA. Well, isopropyl alcohol, is, to be precise. So, there won't be any layers in this one, but me telling you that it's an ideal drink still might be a lie. This looks much better. Why wouldn't this be ideal? This looks pretty good to me. I'm so glad you asked. Let me demonstrate something for you that should explain why this mix isn't ideal. So an ideal mixture occurs when the interactions between two solutions are the same as the interactions between one solution of a single component. So what I'm going to demonstrate is in this vial we have isopropyl alcohol and in this vial we have water. Both we have 25 milliliters of each. Now, if this was an ideal mixture, when we mix these two together, we should just have a total of 50 milliliters because the interactions between the two liquids should be the same and thus take up the same volume. But let's just see what happens when we mix the two. So as you can see, when mixed together, the total volume is only about 49 milliliters, which indicates that the reactions between the two components are not equal. So you're telling me that I'll never be able to get an ideal mixed drink? There is one mixed drink I can make that is perfectly ideal. Let me get that for you. Here you are. I just saw you mix water and water. This is just water. Exactly. And that's why you almost never be able to find an ideal solution. 